Hiya, video two. So now the bike's all stripped down and in this video we'll just take a quick look at all the components and uh, I'll let you know what my intentions are regarding refurbishment of those, uh, which bits to keep and uh, which bits can be discarded or sold. Uh, and at the end of the video I'll show you uh, the frame modification that takes place as part of building the kit. Okay so first up we've got the uh, swing and arm here. Um, I had a bit of a problem with the uh, the bike that I stripped down in as much as one of these lugs had been broken off it probably hit a curb or something so I've bought a second hand swinging arm to replace it and this one I'll get this uh, blasted and powder coated as it's a little bit scratched. Uh, here we've got, this is the water pipe that runs from the radiator down to the water pump. Uh, again, I'll get that blasted and painted. This is the rear brake um, mounting bracket that goes from the wheel spindle. Um, I might, that's got a bearing in it, so things with bearings in, I'm always a little bit reluctant to get them blasted, so I might just strip that with paint stripper and spray it myself. Now moving down a bit, here we've got the centre stand. Now because I intend to lower the bike uh, on its suspension, this one I'm going to get it blasted and then I'm going to cut, if we have a look here, I'm going to just cut a bit out to make the stand a little bit uh, less tall makes it easier for the bike to roll on and off the stand. These are the two rear engine mounting plates. Uh, those will be blasted and painted. I'll probably do those black. Uh, bottom yoke, uh, that one, again it's got a bearing on which I could take off but I'm a bit reluctant to so I'll probably just spray that myself. And then behind is the rear torque arm for the rear disc brake that'll be blasted and painted top yoke that will be the same that'll get the blasting treatment uh, the footrests they'll be cleaned up i'll probably get these little um, clevis parts uh, blasted uh, and get those repainted the two um, control levers for the foot controls those I think I'll probably clean, I might polish those, um, depending on how I feel the colour scheme of the bike, or they might get a bit of paint. The rear suspension linkage, um, that again has bearings in, which I don't want to extract, so that will be cleaned, possibly given a coat of paint, and then um, the bearings re-greased, etc. Now the forks, um, because I'm lowering this bike, that'll be the subject of a little video later on. Um, I will strip those down and uh, we'll put some spaces in them to uh, to just reduce the length of the fork a bit. But that, that'll come later. And I'll probably do those black, I think. We'll see. So those are some of the bigger bits. Um, I'll put them to one side, put some more bits out and then we'll take another look. Alright, the next batch, so we've got the uh, the carburetors here, and now they'll be the subject of a little video later on, and um, I'll show you how I dismantle those, how they come to bits, and how you can clean those, and if you're going to be changing the jetting, uh, we'll sort of discuss that in the same video. These are the little rubber trumpets that um, were fitted into the air filter box, and I've taken those out, because on this bike I'm going to use one of our CRK air filters and they can be reused and fitted back into the filter um, before it goes on the bike. All the brake calipers, they'll get a service in the normal way. Um, just strip them down and give them a clean inspection and deal with those as necessary. The instruments, um, well those get reused in the kit and can be rebuilt into our own housing. For the roadsters, I have to say I have a bit of a preference for the later trophy clocks with the chrome bezels, um, and I might well buy a set of those second hand and use those instead of these. So, to see how funds and what's available at the time, how that all goes. 
wheel spindles but they can just be put away um, for later. Uh, this is the little rubber chain guard off of the swinging arm that can go away. And here we've got the uh, the water hoses. Uh, this one's got the thermostat built in, and uh, obviously we're going to need those again later on. Moving up, we've got the speedo drive that will have to be cleaned up uh, and reused. And then here's the front sprocket, which on this bike is completely knackered, so uh, that will be replaced. Um, and then things like this, these little hoses and stuff. I just tend to put them in a box because you never know they might come in handy later so I'll just put those to one side. Okay but have a look at some of the electrical components next. Okay here's some of the electrical parts obviously three coils as this is a triple cylinder machine and um, so those will just be put to one side. There'll be various things like this this is uh, part of the main battery wiring just put all those things to one side. Uh, they might be useful later or they might not. This is the uh, fuse box. Um, that can be reused if you're going to reuse the original loom. I'll talk about that in a minute. The ignition switch, you're going to need that. This is the ignition module. This um, obviously has to be reused. And don't forget to hang on to the little bracket that mounts it. Uh, you'll need that later in the build. This is the starter solenoid. Um, you're going to need that later. Side stand switch. You're going to want that. Uh, flasher relay. Yep, you'll probably need that if you're reusing the original loom. Don't need that. <laughs> Uh, these are, this is part of the headlamp wiring, um, they probably won't be needed but some of those connectors may come in handy. This is the, uh, one of the earth leads um, that connects to the starter motor, that will come in handy. And here is the main wiring loom. Now you can reuse this and uh, although it looks a bit of a nightmare it's actually quite straightforward. And there are um, a lot of information in the instructions that take you through how to reuse the wiring loom and how to rebuild it onto the bike. But on this build, um, I won't be using this because we've got a new digital wiring system um, using a Moto Gadget digital controller. And I'll be showing how that gets fitted to the bike. But... Um, this original wiring loom, uh, obviously you can reuse it, nothing wrong with it, and uh, you just rebuild it back into the kit. Here are some of the fixings and other small parts. So these uh, here, various engine bolts, part of the swinging arm uh, assembly, that's one of the spindle bolts. Here we've got uh, one of the lower shock absorber um, linkage uh, spindle. This spacer fits between the engine plates at the back of the bike and various fixings, uh, caliper bolts for the front caliper. These are the little uh, end nuts with the grease nipples on for the suspension linkage, gear change linkage. This little rubber fits onto uh, the frame just ahead of the swinging arm. Uh, very easily to forget to fit that again. Uh, this little bracket holds the hoses in place um, down near the uh, back of the carburetors. Various bits and pieces, uh, little springs and things. Uh, this one does the rear brake lever. These are the centre stand springs and the centre stand pivot bolts. That's the other linkage bolt for the swinging arm. Got the two eccentric adjusters for the chain, uh, spacers for the wheels, uh, which you will need, obviously, and various other things, a uh, large swinging arm nut. This is the rear brake um, pressure switch for the rear brake light, and various other bolts, little brackets like this that you need. Um, to, this goes on the inside of the swinging arm to um, hold the brake hose in place. 
and these two brackets off of the front forks um, with the clips on those hold the hoses um, so you'll need those later on in this bag these are all uh, parts to do the swinging arm and uh, the seals and the spindles which I've just put to one side these are some of the fixings for the coil mounting which you will need now this um, this little hose <laughs> with the elbow uh, that was taken out of the water expansion tank um, and that you will need because that gets refitted into the new water expansion tank so make sure you keep that to one side and there's actually a second one of those this one uh, same sort of thing with the grommet on they're different size grommets these two so make sure you don't mix them up and this one has the longer hose on it uh, and that will be useful later on so those are some of the smaller parts that uh, just put them away and then they can be cleaned up and refurbished as you go along and uh, next up we'll have a look at the wheels right wheels next so on this machine on this build um, I'm going to consider two options for the wheels the first is to reuse these three spoke alloys which I do rather like and the other option is to convert it to spoke wheels which will be offered as a uh, an upgrade or an option um, later on when we get the whole design sorted out so I'll probably start off with these two so what I've done is I've um, just stripped them down taken the brake uh, discs off and removed the um, the air points and um, these can go off and be refurbished there's lots of people that do wheels so they're fairly straightforward to do so moving along there's the rear sprocket and the rear sprocket carrier I've uh, just put all the bits um, together there the sprocket's not very good so that will be replaced the cush drive rubbers are here and the discs front and rear they're in pretty good condition so um, they'll be able to be reused um, I'll replace all the bearings in the wheel I need to talk to the people who are doing the refurbishment to see if they want me to remove them before they blast and paint them or afterwards so we'll sort that out later and then the other thing um, that I've got to mention earlier here we are we've got the header pipes now um, the header pipes on pretty well all the models are stainless steel but some of them are painted black um, and it all depends on the condition of your bike as to uh, whether you want to reuse them or repaint them or whatever but the kits are all designed to work with the original header pipes so this this bike particular bike is in natural stainless so I'm going to send these off to a company and have them polished um, there'll be some pitting and a bit of discoloration up here that they won't be able to remove but the bulk of the uh, pipe work will come up nice and shiny so and that look great when it goes back on the bike so that's a job for a, a specialist company okay so that's pretty well all of the sort of ancillary bits so next up we'll have a look at the um, frame okay so finally we get as far as the frame um, I've knocked out the uh, steering head races here because I've decided that although this frame is actually in pretty good condition um, I'm going to get it powder coated just to make it all uh, look the same as all the other parts as I've got the bike this far stripped down. So uh, the next job is to remove this rear subframe which um, we're not going to need and uh, the position that it's going to be cut is uh, going to be cut just here um, on each side and also just down here now the dimensions for setting out the cuts are all given in the instructions that you receive with the kit and um, they're not super duper duper critical but you want to get them as good as you possibly can because that will make life easier when you come to assemble all the parts so what I'm going to do next is uh, I'll mark this out and I'll cut that off and then we'll have a look at it after it's been removed. 
Okay, I've referred back to my instruction book and I've marked out the cutting points on the frame uh, in all the four positions. So the next thing is to chop that off and just tidy up the ends. So that's the subframe removed and um, here I can show you with this unpainted um, new subframe that we provide you can see here that these uh, pins uh, which we build into the subframe will fit into uh, the sockets left by cutting the old subframe off and then at the top here uh, there's some mountings here and also here and those will correspond with these mountings which used to be for the fuel tank and also this strong point that runs right through the frame um, to provide a secure top mount. So next job for me is to send all these bits off and get them painted and uh, that will be the chassis kind of dealt with and the next video will be uh, to do with uh, preparing the engine because on this one I've had to remove the engine and it needs repainting so I'll show you how that's done. See you next time. Cheers! <laughs>